Welcome back to Second Grade Math. And our topic for today is going to be pictographs. So we're going to do graphs that have pictures in them, and we're going to organize our information. So we use the graphs to put this information that we get maybe from a survey. And a survey may be a list of questions that we ask people. And then based on all the responses, we're going to organize them. So we're going to start using the tally chart for our pictographs, and we're going to do it based on colors. So the parts of my chart are going to be, we're going to have the labels. So these are going to be the colors that people chose in the survey. And the title for my graph, let's put it favorite colors. We need to have a title so that we know what is this graph about. So let's just put that it's going to be favorite colors. Each one of these little squares is going to be represent my key. This is going to be the key. And we're going to say that each one of these squares represent one person. Okay, so let's do it like that. Each one of these squares that we're going to put on the chart, on the graph, they're going to represent one person. So let's start with blue. And we can say that one two, three, four, and five people chose their color blue as favorite colors. How can we represent that into our, our tally marks? So we're going to do one, two, three, four. And you know, after number four, I just cross it out so that I know that's easier for me to come by five see how, if I have like a bigger number. And what if, uh, let's say three people chose red. One, two, and three. And then I'm gonna put that into my graph. And I'm gonna say one, two, and three people chose red. Um, how many yellow? Let's just make this up because this I didn't really ask anyone, but we are making this chart. Two, three, four, cross it out to do five, six, seven. Chose yellow as their favorite color. Oops. Okay, let's get seven. One, two, three, four, five. So far, this is the same as blue, but I have two more, six and seven. And then we're going to have green. So let's just say that one, two, three, uh, four, and five people chose green. Let's do that. One, two, three four and five people chose green as their favorite color. And then when we do a graph and we're solving some of our problems, we can just actually count and put the numbers so that we don't get confused. So I know one, two, three, four, five people chose blue as their favorite color. So I'm gonna write it out right here. Uh, one, two, three chose red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chose yellow. One, two, three, four, five chose green. Perfect. So that's the, the first part of my graphs. But then I can also um, be able to solve some questions about um, my graph when I, once I have all my information there. So I can say, for example, that there's colors that people like equally the same. So the colors that people will like equally the same, we're going to be blue because it's five. And that's equal to this right here that it's green. So green and blue, they both have five. So the equal amount of people like blue and green. Um, if they ask me how many more people like yellow, than red. So yellow could count here seven. So seven people like yellow. And one, two, three people like red. They're not really asking me how many people like yellow or how many people like red. They ask me 
what is the difference between the people that like yellow the most to the people that like red? Remember when I said a difference, that's also, that's, sorry, that's always going to be a subtraction. So let's do seven minus three, because that's going to show me the difference. Okay, right there. So seven minus three, I have three, one, two, three, four, to be able to get to the same number right here, the yellow. So seven minus three is four. So the difference between the people that like yellow more than the people that like red, it's four persons. So once I find the difference between those two, I'm always going to be using a subtraction. Uh, what other type of problem can I do? Um, maybe they're going to ask me, how many people like blue and red together? So when they're asking me those together, that means that I'm going to put those uh, numbers add them together to make to know how many people like blue and red all together. So let's let's find that out. Blue, I know there's five. So let's choose any color, five. And they're asking me together with uh, red. Blue and red, how many people like those two colors together? So five plus three is eight. I'd be able to count it here, one, two, three, four, five, plus the ones that like red, six, seven, eight, okay? And one more could be like, how many people were interviewed or how many people we ask about their favorite color in for this graph? So what we need to do is add all these numbers together, five plus three plus seven plus five. Okay, so once we add those two numbers together, we'll be able to know the total amount of people that we actually asked this question about how, how, what was their favorite color. Okay, and I can do it. Remember, I can do two numbers together. I can do um, adding all of them at a time. Okay, so we can do it like, let me get a black and say five plus three. I can start with those two numbers together. And I know that five plus three is eight. So I'm gonna write that down there. And then I'm gonna add the other two, seven plus five, that's 12. And then I'm gonna add my two results together, All right? Eight plus two, because those are in the ones place, that's 10. And I regroup one, one plus one, that's two. So that means the total amount of people that I interviewed for this uh, survey about their favorite color was 20. Um, so that's the way we do pictographs. We're gonna put more examples and there's gonna be a flip rate question that you have to answer on the RIS to, no, on the mathematician's grid. The uh, code is A Ochoa, and then use your lunch number to access the grid. There's also going to be an example there on how to answer the question, and I can wait to see your answers. So keep working hard, mathematicians. You're doing an awesome job. Bye.